Allison and today I'm going to be doing this Kourtney Kardashian inspired look. I am not saying I look like her, I just, a subscriber commented in one of my videos saying you should do the Kourtney Kardashian look and so I googled it and Pinterest and looked at her pictures and I came up with this look. It's kind of like a merge together of all of her pictures with her bold lip, her bangs, her top knot and her bronze highlighted look. So I hope you enjoy this video inspire it with my outfit as well so I know she likes a lot of like golds and fluffy girly things as I saw on the pictures I'm trying to like fix my bracelets so I just have a couple bracelets on I got these at boutiques and then this is the fossil watch and then of course another boutique place and then this fluffy kind of shirt I got at Urban Outfitter and yeah and then for the hair bun I just um my friend on YouTube actually did a video on it, so I'll link her channel below on how you can recreate the bun look. So, yes. So, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you want any other celebrity-inspired looks, just comment below, and I'll be sure to do it. I love doing them. So, yes, I hope you enjoy your day, and let's just get on to the tutorial. I already applied my primer, foundation, and liquid bronzer to save time. I have two separate videos on how I apply these, which will be posted in the description box below. I'm first going to apply my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and this is really good to keep your colors on your eyes staying longer and pigmented. So I'm just going to apply this on both of my eyes and make sure I really blend it in so you don't see any of the harsh line because this is a lighter paint pot to my skin right now for the summertime. I also apply some underneath my eye as well, so when I put eyeshadows there. I'm going to be using the Naked Basics palette. I love this palette. And I'm going to be getting a big fluffy brush and using Foxy and Walk of Shame and just blending those together and putting it all over my eyelid just to secure the paint pot so then it doesn't crease and just to have a wash of color all over so none of the eyeshadows stick to the paint pot. I'm going to take additional product and put that underneath my eye and use basically Foxy, which is a yellow color, and kind of using that as like the banana powder that's so famously here on YouTube and just doing it in like a V color. You can real in a V shape. You can really notice this in person, but not so much in the video, just because I don't like such a bright under eye, but in person, like I said, you can definitely tell that it is highlighted with Foxy. I'm next going to be taking Naked 2 and with the same fluffy brush just going into my crease and I look up sometimes just to see where my eyelashes are hitting so I can go a little above that so you'll see the transition color and this is basically going to help us when we deepen it up with other colors so it doesn't look so choppy. I'm just going to keep blending it out and this is really key because it's going to be a lot easier when you start using the darker colors in the palette. I'm going to get a pencil brush and using Naked 2 again, just putting it underneath my eyelashes just to have it more defined and also not having your eyes look top heavy. This is going to take a while, but just take your time. I'm going to take Faint, and that's just a matte dark brown color, and I'm just angling this with a pointer brush and the outer V and kind of putting it into my crease and this is really going to make your eyes pop out and make them much more defined. So as you can see it's in the outer V kind of part, just outer crease, but I'm not moving it inward towards my eye because that will make your eyes look really small and Kourtney Kardashian's face is that her eyes are huge so you want them to still be open and bright. So that's why I'm still keeping it in the outer half. And I'm just going to take a big blending brush and put the same product on it as Faint and just put it over it and going to blend it out even more. So this look is all about repetition, getting some of the Naked 2, then back in with the Faint color, mixing it out so it's really blended and just more of a feathered look and not so controlled with the pigment.
Now I'm taking Faint on a pointer brush and just applying this to my lower lash line. I'm so sorry I'm out of frame, like seriously. I could have just looked up and noticed. Nope. So next I'm going to just use a big fluffy brush and I'm going to be putting Foxy and Walk of Shame again and putting this underneath my brow bone just to clean up any messes. I'm going to be using the NARS Nude Eyeliner and then placing this in my waterline just to make it open and more bright. I noticed when Kourtney Kardashian has bright lips she tends to keep her um, waterline more nude and not so dark because it is such a bright color on your lips so I'm just using this. You can also use the Rimmel Scandalize Nude Eyeliner as well. I'm going to be using just a black eyeliner and messily putting this on my top lash line. You do not have to be perfect whatsoever as you can see in a couple seconds. It's going to be completely jacked up right now, but then I just smudge it out as you can see. Next I'm going to be taking a liquid liner and just placing this, just a slight wing just to make your eyelashes more, look more defined when you put mascara on because I'm not going to be putting fake lashes on. And I'm going to be using the Jordana Best Lash Volumizing Mascara and just applying this to my top lashes and also to my bottom. And this really makes your eyelashes just look so big and fake and just beautiful. And if you want to apply false lashes, just apply them now. But I just didn't want to. And this is the final look for the eye. Super simple and just looks really nice and effortless and it looks great with a bold lip. I'm going to be using my chocolate bronzer from Too Faced and just a big fluffy Sigma brush and just placing this on top of the liquid bronzer just to secure the bronzer but also deepen up my complexion. I have a whole tutorial that I'll link below like I said in the beginning all about where I place the liquid bronzer and why I do that step. I'm next going to be using MAC's Peaches and this is my favorite MAC blush ever, ever, ever. And I'm just placing this on the apples of my cheeks and more on the cheekbone because then when you look to the side it just looks like a nice flush of color. The lipstick I'm going to be using is Vegas Vault and it is an Amplified I think. By MAC, I love this color. She's always wearing bright orange colors and I'm obsessed with this, especially for summer. You can use Ravishing if you really don't want to use this bright color or pink nouveau is just beautiful. So now I'm going to fix my bangs, try and make them look cute. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more recommendations on celebrities, just comment below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, girlies.